Hey guys, it's Glickman here, and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. Now, I've been reading a lot online, and I've been seeing a lot of what people have been saying about how this game is so very difficult to play as a solo player. When you're going up against squads of two, three, four, maybe even five people, and you are only one person. And I see a lot of people that complain, saying that squads shouldn't be allowed in solo servers, or there should be separate solo servers and separate squad servers so that solo players can play as, as best as they can. And in my opinion, I don't think that that's right. I don't think that they should ever separate squads and solo servers. I think that they should all be together, and it really embraces the hardcore nature of this game. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I think are the best ways to survive and succeed as a solo player in Escape from Tarkov. The first tip I would give would be to know your map and know your surroundings. With time, you will learn all of the spawn points on all of the maps. Now, as soon as your feet hit the ground when you load in, you should be looking towards the other spawn points that you know could have players. Once you clear those areas, then you should be safe to move. Failure to clear those areas before moving on could result in death. down. The next tip in learning how to survive as a solo player is learning how to be patient with your gear. Now the first thing that you want to do when you put a player down is run over there and grab all of that delicious loot. All of that stuff that's going to make you all of the money as soon as you get out of the raid. But doing so too early before you know if there's anybody else around could get you killed and make you lose all the gear that you could have possibly had. A rule that I always try to follow myself is that just because you only see one player doesn't mean that he's the only one around. As soon as I get my kill, I immediately start looking for the next player, and I reposition myself to get a better angle on the body. I think that was just a scab, actually. If that was just a scab, then where did everybody else go? Oh, that was definitely not a scav. After repositioning to get a different angle on the body, you want to use your ears and listen. Any type of sound that could indicate that there could be another player around should keep you on a high alert. Even if you don't hear anything, you should always assume that there's somebody else there, and your next plan of action is to clear out all of the possible areas where there could be somebody waiting to kill you. In the clip that you are currently watching, I had just eliminated a player in front of the red tin building on customs. I then repositioned myself and began to scan for other enemies. After not seeing anything in my immediate view, I decided to go clear out all the rest of the places that somebody could be waiting to kill me. I gotta clear out this building. was another player. And that's why you clear out your area before you go loot. There's three bodies out there and this guy's sitting in here waiting to hear somebody run up on it. The next tip that I would like to bring up about being a successful solo player is knowing when to move, knowing how to move, and knowing when to attack. As a solo player, one of your biggest weapons is the element of surprise. Many players will see an enemy and just immediately start unloading their weapon on them because they want to put them down as quick as possible. Now this may not always be the best thing to do. When playing raids as a solo player, you often need to pick and choose when it is the proper time to fire your weapon and effectively reveal your position. By revealing your position, you are giving up one of your biggest weapons in taking down enemy targets. It is of utmost importance as a solo player 
to be able to effectively pick and choose when to fire your weapon, because as soon as you give away your position, you could possibly be giving away your life. When I'm playing solo, even if I'm not using a sniper rifle, I like to take a sniper's approach, and that is, you shoot once, or you shoot a burst, and you reposition so that the enemy has a difficult time tracking exactly where you could be. If this is used effectively, many times the opposition will have no idea where you could possibly be coming from, and in fact, may even think you're coming from a completely opposite direction than you actually are. Learning to move at the right times and learning how to reposition and flank at the proper times can really net you some serious gains when you're playing as a solo player. In the clip that's currently playing, I had just put down a player in front of the red tin building. After putting him down, I continued to move around, and in doing so, I heard some shots coming from across the bridge towards the construction area, and it was some action that I wanted to get in on. So, taking this into consideration, I decided to move in on the body before I fully cleared everything, which wasn't the smartest decision. Grab the tag and run. Right click tag, gun and run. I don't want to miss out on all the action happening everywhere. Like your player in front of me. One down. I'm gonna reposition myself to come in from behind where he was. After taking out the next player, I decide to reposition and come in from behind where the player I just put down was standing, effectively flanking anybody that could possibly be standing over there. By choosing to make this decision quickly, it doesn't give the opponent much time to react to the possibility of a flank. I'm glad I didn't just go uh, plop down in the body. That could have been bad. In all my corners. Just another player. Yep. As I flanked around behind him, he had no idea where I was coming from. He was still watching the same angle. To finish off this basic guide on solo raiding successfully in Escape from Tarkov, I think I'll just leave you with one more clip and one more tip. You want to have fun with the game. And playing as a solo player is very fun and it's extremely rewarding, although it has its challenges when playing against groups or even other solo players. The game's atmosphere is very unforgiving. And going in by yourself is an entirely different challenge all on its own. That's going to about conclude my video for my basic guide on successful solo raiding and escape from Tarkov. And to finish it off, I'm going to leave you with one last clip. I was just passing the gas station trying to extract on customs when I ran into, you guessed it, a three-man squad out in the middle of the grass. What happens next is a bit hectic, but just remember, when in doubt, stay calm and spray through a bush. Oh, 29 strength. Nice. all around me right now. Oh, 
Holy. If you like this guide and you feel like it helped you be a better solo player, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Just remember, playing solo is as easy as one, two, three.